So basically what I've got here is, um, I bought it off eBay, it's a ladies um, false nail um, kit. Uh, it's a UV light bo box that lets you harden your nails I think, so 36 watt UV lamps. So what I thought was, uh, rather than go to all the expense and trouble of trying to source the bulbs and build the circuit, I thought was to adapt this. It's basically steal the guts out of it. Use this. It's got a 120 second timer. Got all the switching, power supply, and um, pretty much ready to go. Uh, bulbs, four bulbs, which basically just plug in there. So let's see. There. Here's a, one of the bulbs here. Nine watt. And this was only fifteen pounds. Um, so what we'll do is open it up, tear it down, see what's inside it, and start thinking about how we can actually use this in the empty scanner. Back in a minute. Next step, see how we can utilise this. I'll take some measurements. This is the, the unit with the bulbs in place. See the four units there, um, and we'll just see what it looks like when it's fired up. So we have the option of always on, or off, or timed. If we have it on the timer, uh, let's pop it on a timer. So that was basically two minutes right on the button actually because um, I couldn't get it to stop. Stop watch to stop when I was trying to do that. Um, so two minutes. Okay, so let's take this right off. Hold it over.
Okay, so now we have all the, the parts stripped from the, the main unit. Um, we have the rocker switch, which will provide the infinite or 120 seconds timed input. The momentary switch to provide to actually activate the, the timer. Fuse, most important. Right, okay, so where to put everything? Um, power cable, I think. Come on, definitely like to keep the power. What I may do actually is take, yeah, what I'll do is utilise this and take the, reroute the wiring from this onto the main circuit board um, and replace this little wire here. Um, it's a much better, much better arrangement. Saves me for hacking the case up as well and is uh, already there, save some time. Uh, front here, um, oh, back to the power. I'll also drill the fuse holder, place the fuse holder in here. Although it will have a, the fuse on the cable itself, um, we'll keep that there. Uh, we'll in incorporate this one again, so I'll, I'll put that round about here somewhere. Um, so we've got a fuse holder. <coughs> For this, so we can use the infinite and 120 second timer. Uh, what I might do is just um, forego the use of these. Possibly here for the power, and maybe over here for the 120 second. This hinge over here is actually broken. Um, as you can see, it's supposed to look like this, but it doesn't. It looks like this. Um, part of the brackets gone. Uh, yeah, so I'd like to try and get this uh, to be black. Um, you can get some kind of paint or possibly lining it with some kind of plastic, black plastic, or, or painting it or, or something. Um, so I'll do that. Um, as far as the uh, bulb arrangement goes. Um, I'd like to try and be able to use two on either side. So possibly like that. So two here and two there. Um, or failing that, two here and possibly two there. The length itself may be a determining factor in this. Um, because look, <laughs> they're actually wider than the machine, so they'll have to be offset. Each of them will have to be offset, possibly in that kind of arrangement. And that should give me a, a good coverage. Um, yeah, what I might do is just Rather than and break off all the, the brackets individually, holders individually, um, just slice through the middle, um, affix on the inside, because they're both like level, so I'd have the two other ones and the two other ones. Um, I think that would be quite quite a good arrangement. I have to pack this out somehow. Um, may have to use a piece of plywood or something um, to create the base and also the sides um, so yeah I think that will be the plan of action so I'll have 